Okay, we're now going to be looking at the 1 in 60 rule. If you are on, let's say, a 100 nautical mile journey, and you realise 40 nautical miles along your track, uh-oh, I am 4 nautical miles left of track. What I would like to know is exactly what do I have to turn to get back on track. The most important thing with this is draw a picture. If you draw a picture, you'll be absolutely fine. So let's draw the picture. There is my um, 100 nautical mile track. They are telling me 40 nautical miles a long track, I realise, uh-oh, I am left, so make sure you draw your line to the left, by four nautical miles, and they want to know what I have to turn to get back on track. So if it's a total of 100 nautical miles, I know I've got 60 nautical miles to run. So the first thing you do is you draw the picture. It's called the one in 60 rule because 60 minutes one degree. So what you do is draw the picture, put a 60 on this side and underline it, and put a 60 on this side and underline it. Doesn't matter what these are, it is the 1 in 60 rule. So the first thing we have two calculations to do. The first one is called track error. The second one is called track correction. Sorry, one minute I'm doing capitals and then I don't. Terrible. So I'm tracking up here. If I do absolutely nothing, of course, you will end up to infinity and beyond. So the first thing we have to do is correct for our track error. All you do, it's very easy this, all you do is take how many nautical miles you've done and divide it into 60. 60 divided by 40 is 1.5 degrees. Then times it by how many nautical miles off track you are. I'm four. 1.5 times four, my kind of math this, is six degrees. If I now turn my aircraft six degrees to the right, all I'm actually going to do is start tracking along here. I have only corrected this angle here being six degrees. So what I do on this side, I have to do exactly the same with what I've got left on this side. It just so happens I've got 60 nautical miles. 60 divided by 60 is one, definitely my kind of maths, times it by four equals four. If you now add the two together, 6 plus 4 equals 10. If I now turn my aircraft 10 degrees to the right, and make sure you're going right because you might find it says left as well, I am now correcting for that angle being 4 degrees, I will end up there. So that is the 1 in 60 rule. So now just stop have a little practice, give yourself different ones to work out the 1 in 60 rule.